Okay, today I want to talk about object constructors and object literals. Now, what we have here in this sample code, and if you're looking for a copy of this, the link to it is down in the description. This is an object literal, right here. When you write out the curly braces, and inside of that you put your name value pairs for all the properties, that is called an object literal. And this is one way of creating an object. So I'm just creating it and I'm providing all the properties and values all at the same time. This is by far the most efficient syntax for creating a simple object. Now, when you do this, what's actually happening behind the scenes is the object constructor function is being called, which is what we have down here. So it's doing something like this one right here. We're calling new object and we're passing in the object literal like this this is going to create an object. It's going to call the object constructor, the literal is being passed in, the object is being constructed, it's being given these properties and these values. Now, that being said, we can also call the object constructor with anything inside there. We're allowed to put any value we want inside of it. So I can leave it blank, or I can put null or undefined. If I do that, what I'm going to end up with is an empty object. Here, I'm passing in an array, this one I'm passing in a string, and here I'm passing in a boolean. So I've got a bunch of console logs, I'm just going to run those. And we can look at what each one of these are doing. So the first one, object1, one, that's my object literal syntax right here. Now in my console logs, I'm writing out the object itself. So if we scroll down here, you can see. I'm writing out the object itself, then I'm calling type of to see, okay, what is this thing reporting that it is? And for all of these, the array, the object, the string, the empty one, and the boolean, that's the first thing right here after the object itself. Object, 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 object. And here's number five is object, number six is object. All of these are reporting that they are objects. That just means that they're not primitives because everything in JavaScript is either a primitive or it's an object. So all six of my objects here, all six things that were created by the object constructor are reporting back that yes, indeed, they are objects. It doesn't matter what I pass in, it is an object. So that's the first thing. Next, I'm checking to see if it's an instance of object. Okay, this one's reporting true. We've got true, 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 true. All of them are reporting that they are instance object. And that's really the same thing as saying, yeah, they were built with new object. So when I look at object.constructor, right here, for the first one, this is the object literal, what was your constructor? So type of is object. Are you an instance of object? Yes. What was your constructor? It was the object function. That is this right here. The object constructor is the object function, or the function object with a capital O. So right here, object literal, even though I wrote it as an object literal, it's still called this object constructor. Now the second one, where we passed in an array that had some values inside of it. This syntax is the exact same as if I had done this. New array, and then inside there I passed in my three strings just like that. So these two things are identical. Here we have the object constructor. We're passing in an array literal. It's taking that and saying, okay, I'm supposed to construct an array. Well, arrays in JavaScript are just objects. So it builds an object. It just happens to be an object of type array. Now my console log statement right here for this one, number two, which is the array, we're looking at the object itself. So number two, what is it? Well, it's an array. So that's what number two is. Type of is object. Yeah, the object constructor built it, so it's gonna be a type of object. I can ask your instance of an array, instance of object, both of those are gonna come back true because it is an array, but an array is a type of object. So it is an instance of both. It is an array, but it's also an object. We can call the array method to say, are you an array? 
and we get true for that one too. And these two lines right here, the instance of array and is array, those two lines are really doing the same thing. They're checking to see, is this object that we've got an instance of an object of type array? Yes, it is. Okay, now the constructor function, unlike the first one with the object literal, here the constructor function was the array. You remember how up above here I said it's the same thing as writing new array? Well, this is the constructor function that's being called. So we said new object, but it looked at what was being passed in and said, to cre correctly build this, I have to call new array. So this is the constructor right here, this new array. That array function, that is the constructor. For number three, that was another object literal being passed in. It just was passed in to the new object function instead of just being written as an object literal. So the results for this one are going to be the exact same as object one. Now number four, this was a string. With object four, I was passing in the word this. So those quotation marks around it, it was coming from the object up at the top, but it was just a string. Now that's the value type of for object four. So there's the value and then type of object four is what's coming next right here. It says it's an object. Strings are primitives. Booleans are primitives. Numbers are primitives in JavaScript, but there is also a string object. Primitives have no methods. They've got no properties. But if you think about a string in JavaScript, you can ask it what its length is. There's methods like split and splice and pad and trim. These are methods that belong to an object. It is a string object that acts as a wrapper around that primitive value. And because we use the new object syntax to create this thing, we were taking the string primitive and passing it to the new object constructor method. What was your constructor? Well, it was the function string. So that is the same thing. If I come up here, number four, right here, we did this effectively. This value right here was a string. It is the exact same thing as if you did this. New string with some value inside of it. Doing this actually creates a string object. And that's my next set of consoles right here. Console log, if I've got this or this, these first two, those are both string primitives. Right here, Steve and Steve, those are both string primitives. The third one, when I called new string, I created a string object. So it's an object wrapped around that primitive value. The second one, this was just doing a cast. It was saying, take the string primitive Steve and convert it into a string primitive. Well, it's going to be the exact same thing. So the first two are both string primitives, but this one is an object. Because we said new, we're calling a function and we're getting an object back. So the last three things, I'm checking the type of. These first two are going to be strings, but this last one right here, there it is down here, string, string, object. Because we said new, it is creating an object. Number five, if we crawl back up here, there it is. We said new object with nothing passed in. It's the same thing as if we passed in null or undefined. We're creating an empty object. So back down here, object five. We created an empty object. Its type was an object. It's an instance of object, yes. And what was its constructor? Well, it was the object function. And the final one, this is with the Boolean. This is doing the same thing as with the string. Booleans are primitives, but if you say new object and you give it a true or false value, it's going to create the Boolean wrapper. So the Boolean object wrapper around that primitive Boolean. What's its type? Object. Because we used new object, back up here, you can see where we're creating it. We're saying new object and we're passing it in a value. So it's the same as if we did this new Boolean and we passed in the true like that. Both of these are going to create a Boolean object wrapped around a primitive Boolean value.
And that's why we can call methods sometimes on strings and booleans and numbers, is because there is an object wrapper that JavaScript sort of silently creates in the background behind everything for us. So that's down in our final one here, number six. Type of is object. Is it an instance of Boolean? Yes. Is it an instance of object? Yes, because a Boolean object is still a type of object. And what was its constructor? It was the Boolean function, new Boolean. And that's what the last thing I wrote up here was this new Boolean. That is the constructor method being called. So hopefully that makes sense. That's the difference between an object literal, where you're writing out all the syntax, or the object constructor where it will look at the value that you're passing in and then create an object of the appropriate type. All right, if you have any questions about that, please feel free to leave comments down below. The, uh, once again, the source for this is linked to in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.